Next question is from Catherine Health Journey. I've been working out on the combat stretch for well over six months, as well as other ankle mobility drills. And it seems like my mobility has barely changed. Uh, so this is a long journey, man. It is. Yeah, it it's can also, be frustrating. It's also sure. hard because I can't ask uh, this person any more questions. Like, how often are you doing right. these mobility drills? How intense are they? Are you mm -hmm. doing these frequently? Is it just at the end of your workouts? Uh, and then what does the rest of your workout look like? Th those are all important questions because mobility doesn't just improve, especially in hard uh, areas, just because you do – you know, mobility work two days a week, or maybe it will, but mm -hmm. it just takes a long time. Um, it could take longer than six months. Mobility is best done, work is best done daily, every yeah. day on that area if you really want to see an improvement. Yeah, well, I think those are all valid questions because I would assume, like, and I've talked to some people who have, you know, listened to the show, and, and we talk a lot about, like, priming before the workouts, but, you know, really, that's just a fraction of the day. If this is a corrective need uh, with your ankle, this should be something that you're applying as frequently as you can think about it throughout the day with, you know, low intensity. But um, it, it's just a signal that you're really honing in on and you're sharpening. And um, you, if you can attach this to, to everyday activities, like even, you know, after lunch, uh, you know, before breakfast, like as, as you get out of the shower, like as many things as you can attach this to, it, it's going to have a lot more effect. Yeah. I, I really think that the the success that I had with improving my ankle mobility has a lot to do with it was at the same time that I was working at Orange Theory. And the way that they run these classes is you have these um, two, three minute like circuits or sprints or whatever. And in between that time, um, I, I have I have two or three down down minutes. And I would get down in these this squat. And back then, I couldn't even squat down without my heels coming up off the ground. And that's all I was trying to practice was getting down in that mm -hmm. squat and holding, getting comfortable in that position and connecting to the floor. Like I think because I was doing it all day, in addition to before I go to lift, I spent my you know, 15, mm -hmm. 20 minutes of priming and mobility work. And then even then, I'd say it took probably a solid year before I felt like I could look back at like pictures and be like, whoa, look at the difference mm -hmm. in my squat. Like mm -hmm. it's completely changed from what it was. But it was a solid year. And it was not a solid year of just, oh, today's workout day. So I need to prime a little bit and I'm going to do my ankle mobility and that's it. It was a constant theme. I was always thinking about it through the day that I want to improve this. I want to get better at it. And so any chance I got to sit down in a squatted position or do a little bit of a combat stretch, it was a constant. Because well, you have to remember, like we get to this place because of our other behaviors. Mm -hmm. and, and, and unless you completely change what you were doing before, then you just doing a little bit of, of corrective mobility work uh, a couple times or even five or six times a week is not enough to counter. It's competing signals. Yes, exactly. It's it's, it's and, and I think an easier one to explain because the ankle, some people have a harder time thinking about like seating, being in a seated position on a table or I mean on a desk or whatever or a chair, how that works against you or isn't in your favor of getting a better ankle mobility. But think of it like somebody who has forward shoulder and like let's pretend like a, like I have a hairstylist that I've trained before right and the whole day they got eight hours mm -hmm. of cutting hair and doing stuff in front of them and so they're in this very forward rounded position because of their job that's eight hours of doing that me doing prone cobra and some shoulder mobility and chest stretches like the three times a week I see them is not going to completely reverse all that shit mm -hmm. that they're going the opposite side so it's it's constant attention to it now maybe I can get a little bit of like what this person might be feeling. I get a, I feel like I've made a little bit of progress or I feel a little bit better, but it, there needs to be a lot of attention around it constantly if, if, if you want to see massive improvement in it.